afternoon, YouTube uh, friends and subscribers. I got something a little different today. Uh, it's been quite a while since I've done an unboxing and a uh, benchmark review. Most of my previous videos have been on some builds that I've been working on, which I'm still working on a few of them. So, uh, but today this is going to be an unboxing of the OCZ, the Revo Drive 3 X2, which uh, they just came out probably two or three weeks ago. Uh, it's been less than a month for sure and I actually bought this for my personal uh, gaming computer and uh, let's go ahead and get uh, the unboxing on it. Uh, I've had Revo drives in the past and I've had issues with them and compatibility and you know I've sent more than one back before and I think the reason that made me jump to buy this for my own personal uh, computer is that uh, the motherboard that I was going to use was on the compatibility chart and this is the first Revo drive that actually supports trim so those were always two things I didn't want to buy it and it not be compatible of course uh, I wanted it to be a bootable drive and then I wanted it to be able to support trim so I would have long term uh, performance from it and this has everything everything that I wanted and so I went ahead and uh, and got it for my own personal build. Okay, it's the uh, PCI Express Gen 2. Uh, it's a times four connection, and it's up to three times faster than a SATA 3, uh, six gigabytes per second. And we'll actually test that before the video's over. I'll run it through a benchmark. Uh, it's the OCZ, the VCA 2.0, and that's the virtual virtualized controller architecture. Now I'm going to say this. OCZ has really outdone themselves on this uh, VCA 2.0. Again, it is the first rated uh, SSD, so to speak, that supports trim that I know of, at least consumer level. Uh, most of the time you take two normal SSDs, you put them in a RAID 0 or any RAID configuration, and trim will not go through the RAID uh, drivers and controllers. That's just all there is to it. Now, that, that may be fixed soon, but as of right now, it's not. As far as I know, and then it has the OCZ Super uh, Scale Storage Accelerator, and uh, facilitates a scalable performance and minimizes the host CPU burden. So, uh, the packaging is like all the other Revo drives; it's real solid. Uh, it's like a hard box; it's not like a soft box. The outside is just an advertisement box, but the, the inside is really uh, hard. And so this is the uh, 480 gigabyte version. That's another reason I got it. Is uh, I have quite a few Steam games that I like to leave in installed all the time, and I like to have access to them. Uh, when I had the 240 gigabyte or 250 gig gigabyte uh, SSD, I, I could keep games on there, but I had to you know shuffle them in and out. With this, I should be able to keep most of the games that I want. So uh, as far as the boxing is concerned, it's nice boxing. Okay, let's go ahead and open it up. Okay, now this is the hard box I'm talking about underneath. I mean, it <clears throat> it's hard. I mean, it would take, you know, I, I could hurt it if I wanted to, but I mean, it would take quite a bit. So it's pretty, uh, pretty well protected. And this slides out of the bottom just like that. Okay, of course you get your guide. Uh, one of the things with this Revo drive and with the other Revo drives that I know is that you have to, if you want it to be a bootable hard drive or SSD, you have to uh, install a driver during the Windows setup. And uh, surely that will not be an issue. It was not an issue with the previous X2s that I had. It just, they wouldn't work. Then you get a sticker that says, my SSD is faster than your hard drive. And for this case, it should have said my SSD is faster than your SSD. <clears throat> the advertised uh, transfer rate for this uh, Revo Drive 3X2 is 1.5 gigabytes per second read and 1.25 gigabytes per second write. And I am saying gigabytes per second, uh, which is amazing. And when you get that type of transfer rate, hopefully that's the case and it supports trim as well, uh, I think that's a wonderful solution. That's why I chose it for my own uh, computer build. Okay, so here we go. 
Uh, let's go ahead and zoom in just a little bit. Okay, this is what it looks like. Uh, I think their uh, proprietary chip is under this little heat sink here. Uh, and remember, that's the uh, VCA that runs, uh, makes all these work in unison together. There are four 2281 Sand Force controllers on this thing, so uh, that is just amazing. Uh, and remember, trim is supported, which I, I keep saying that because I, I'm so excited about it. Okay, here we go. Uh, go ahead and turn it around. I'm trying to be pretty careful with it. So, uh, one thing they added is on this side, let me turn it over here. Uh, oh, I had it right. <laughs> Revo Drive uh, 3, they have a sticker just on the back so uh, people can tell that you're actually using the Revo Drive 3. So, uh, besides getting to, into the chips and everything, which I think I screwed it up last time I did a Revo Drive unboxing, uh, I'm ready to get it put in the computer and uh, see if we can't get some benchmarks out of this and, and hopefully it'll work. Okay, I got the Revo Drive installed in my computer. And the first thing you'll notice is uh, this is actually uh, my gaming computer. And uh, if you can believe it, I don't have any water cooling at this time. Uh, I've kind of uh, downsized on uh, my computer and because uh, I want to do some upgrades. Uh, I'm going to eventually be water cooling the CPU for sure. But anyways, <clears throat> there's the Revo Drive. I have it in uh, the motherboard that I'm using is the AS Rock uh, Fatality Pro uh, Generation 3.0 uh, Z68 board and uh, let me see if we can see the back side of it here there we go uh, it's a very nice board and if you look on OCZ's website they say it supports the P67 version of this board and so I kinda gambled uh, <clears throat> and got the uh, Z68 and uh, I've already installed Windows and it's uh, my Revo drives up and running and so everything's working flawlessly it's actually been working for probably two two and a half weeks now so uh, I want to make sure it was working and I'm very pleased with it so you can see now I have it in an eight times slot mechanical but it's actually the way the board is configured with because I got two GTX 590's and I also have the Zonar Sense uh, card that you can see right there uh, that final slot is actually configured as a times four electrical and so since the Revo drive is a times four card then it should be getting full bandwidth so uh, let's go ahead and get my computer started that's the only thing that I wasn't too impressed with the Revo drive 3 although it's not entirely its fault uh, after the BIOS hands off to the operating system everything loads super fast so I went ahead and hit the power button and see how it loads up here I think this uh, AS Rock motherboard is a little slow. There you can see where it's uh, 5 gigabits per second is what the uh, bandwidth usage is, PCIe times 4. And it says OK, so that's good. OK, there's the BIOS logo. OK, now it's starting Windows. And you can see that it's uh, it's blinking and functioning. There, my audio car just took power. So it's in Windows now. And you can see all the stuff loading up, which I think, I mean, that's that's pretty fast. So uh, it's not the fastest startup I've seen. But uh, let's see what the uh, throughput on the benchmarks is. That's what's important. Okay, I got Addo pulled up here. And, uh, of course, uh, C is my uh, Revo drive, which is my boot drive. Remember, I've installed Windows. I have about 200 gigabytes, maybe, of uh, games and stuff. Let's just go ahead and look at that to confirm. I think that's about what it is. Let's see. Here is my Revo drive. You know, 446 gigabytes total, 250 gigabytes is free. So that's a pretty good guess. So, so it it, it has been used for I don't know two or three weeks. So uh, let's go ahead and get it started. Hit start on it, 
and I'll just let this run through. It seems like it jumps up uh, pretty quickly as uh, the blocks of data get get more and more. And if I go over here to the card, you can see it blinking away. You got blue and green LEDs on it primarily. The blue seem to stay on. Uh, all the time and then the green I've kind of figured out is the actual uh, transferring of data. Okay so we've already hit uh, write speeds of 316 megabytes per second up oh, there's uh, 446 megabytes per second and 404 uh, megabytes per second on the read and it's still going up. See how it jumps, makes a jump right there. Oh, we just hit the gigabyte mark. So as of right now we have 1.07 gigabytes per second read and 1.09 gigabytes per second write. And wow, the uh, the read just took a jump up right there. Okay, looks like it's finishing up. Okay, so let's look at the highest. We have uh, looks to be me to be like the highest read is the last block, and it's 1.33 gigabytes per second, or 1,338 megabytes per second, and the highest write in the right column is also the last block and you have 1.2 gigabytes per second right or 1201 megabytes per second so the advertised remember I said was read of uh, 1.5 gigabytes per second and 1.25 gigabytes per second on the right so it is very close to advertised uh, the read is down just a little bit but you know what this is uh, this is faster than anything I've ever had, and I have noticed in games that, you know, if I'm playing a multiplayer game, that my uh, my data seems to load up way before anyone else's. So uh, there is a lot of benefit. You don't see it as much on the uh, boot up of the card, but you definitely see it when you run that benchmark. So let's go ahead and do a, a crystal disc benchmark as well. Okay, I got a crystal disc. Mark uh, 3.01 loaded up, and uh, of course it's going to be on uh, the C drive, and I'm doing everything default except I changed this to I think default it may be five, and we don't want to wait forever for all the results, so I'll go ahead and run it. <clears throat> now, when I originally got the drive and did a ADO test on it, uh, the the results were not what you just seen a while ago. They were like messed up. And so I called OCZ, and what I found out, I thought ADO was a pretty simple benchmark, but you have to have the latest version of ADO, and I think the one that I'm using is 246. Uh, I was using maybe 2.1, and it was given some strange numbers, and just by uh, updating ADO, uh, I was able to get the good results. Uh, this is the latest version, I think, of a crystal disk, so... So we'll let it finish here. Those of you that are wondering what uh, case I'm using, I've used a test bench the last couple times on my build. And this is actually the Techno Front uh, Raven case. And it's very nice. I like the uh, black acrylic on it. I had the Benchetto previously, 
and it it was a dust magnet, and you couldn't even and a fingerprint magnet, and you couldn't even get them cleaned off hardly. This is still a magnet, but it's it can be cleaned pretty easily, and uh, I really like the organization of it. And uh, there's also plenty of area to uh, put uh, radiators and water cooling, which I will eventually do, especially for the CPU. So we're getting through this. And, I, you know, getting these results here, I think it could be an issue with Crystal Disk. Uh, they just, it's not optimized for a PCI Express uh, hard drive. I mean, that's, that's my best guess. Uh, OCZ only officially endorses the Addo benchmark, but I figured I'd do this just uh, as a comparison. I think this, you know, the advertisement for uh, IOPS for this card is 240,000 IOPS, which is amazing. Okay, uh, I think it's finishing up. Okay, <clears throat> as you can see the results don't make sense compared to what we just got on Addo. And, uh, you know, I don't know why. I think it could be uh, the crystal disk uh, needs to be updated. Uh, but that gives you kind of an idea of what crystal disk shows, which I don't think it's accurate though. So, uh, again, I'm, I'm happy with the Revo Drive 3 X2. Uh, I was kind of leery to, to go ahead and get it, but if you get a motherboard that's supposed to, supposedly compatible with the device, uh, OCZ, they have really good support where you always get a hold of someone. I mean, you, more likely you can get, you know, make it work. The only thing that is, is really there's no refund. Uh, I bought mine from Newegg, and it's a, it's a no, no refund device, so I kind of had to cross my fingers as I purchased it, so... Hopefully you all enjoyed this uh, unboxing and benchmarking of the OCZ Revo Drive 3 X2. And uh, please stay tuned to my channel for uh, upcoming videos. Thanks a lot.